Peace, 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 love, light, the healing, peace, love, light, the healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. Y'all climb on in, climb on in. Uh, we doing something very, very special today. Uh, today is the beginning of my live consultations, and this is most definitely for educational purposes and just to teach y'all how to truly heal one's mind, body, spirit, and soul. So I want to thank all of my followers, all of my supporters, everybody that's climbing in, but I really want to give a thanks to the lady that's, she's the first client on here that's doing this and uh this is very big we got over 2,000 uh live educational consultations already booked so there'll be many more of these i'm gonna put these in a playlist for you guys can rewind these things go back through these things with your pants and your pads and really learn how to heal your mind your body your spirit and your soul so i want to thank uh the lady that's on here for being the first one to be courageous to actually get on here to do this i understand that you might be a little nervous but uh she's gonna get through it because she understand how this information is very very important to the people that's watching it so y'all climb in, give me some nines if y'all can see me, give me some nines if y'all can hear me, and uh, we're going to get everything started. Once I see some nines, I'm going to bring her in, and we're going to get this consultation started. This is my first one. And uh, anybody that pays for this, it's actually cheaper than, it's, well, let me not say cheaper. That word just sound crazy in itself. It's, a very, uh, it's, it's less expensive than actually talking to me over the phone. And you get to see my face, and it's on video. We record it, and we let the world hear it. And, you know, you get to rewind this because it's never coming off my YouTube and you really get to pull out your pen and your pad and learn whether you a healer and you want to learn how to conduct consultations or whether you somebody that need to be healed. You can actually go and watch these videos. So after we get done, uh, whatever she's going through, I'm going to put it in the title. And when you suffering or dealing with these type of symptomologies, you just get on YouTube, type in this symptomology, type in my name and get your pen and your pad out and get ready to change your lifestyle. So if y'all ready, type in some nines, and we're going to go and get it started. Shalom, 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 Lakai family. Okay, so they are in, so let me share with you where are you at. Peace, peace. How you feeling, goddess? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So I got everything pulled up here. Uh, could you please just state your name? And then uh, even though I'm looking at this, I really don't look at this a lot. I'm going to look at it today because this is our first consultation. But I like to really keep consultations fresh. So even though y'all fill out the consultation intake form, uh, just to keep the conversation new and to keep the energy good, I really never even look at the actual sheet. I get on here and my, my spiel is, hey, you booked the consultation with Yaki, how you feeling? And usually people be like, well, I'm not feeling so good. And I say, well, what's your name? And talk to me. So what's your name? My name Okay. And uh, first, we always got to start off with the age and your height and your weight. Age, height, and weight. I'm 27. I'm 5'9". I'm okay, so you're 27. 140. You're 5'9", and you're 140. Okay, so uh, what, what made you book the consultation with us? What are you going through? What did the doctors diagnose you with, or what... What are, what are they talking about? What's the reason that you even booked the consultation with us? I was 16. I had a retinal detachment. Um, and um, every, Could you speak up just a little an ophthalmologist and Because I can't really hear you. You said at 16 um, you had a retina detachment? Yeah, retinal detachment. Um, okay. And they said it was just common for women who were severely nearsighted. Okay. Um, so I've been seeing the ophthalmologist every year, and um, he's diagnosed me with macular degeneration. Um, and each, he just says that there's a growth in myopia. Okay, so you have a um, So that's what made me book the consultation. And my son is also four years old, and... You break you breaking up. So you said at sixteen you had a detached retinal, and then they. Is there a delay? I can hear you now. So you said at sixteen you had a detached retinal, right? And then you said that they actually said that you had what?
I think your internet is not working. So hers keep freezing, y'all. If hers keep freezing, I might just have to record it and just put it online. Let's see if she called back in. So we're going to try it again. If hers is glitching real bad, we just, we're going to record it and throw it up, y'all. Peace, peace, queen. Is that better? Yeah, let's see. Let's ask them. And if not, what we do is we just get off here, record it, and I just throw it up here tonight. That way it won't be no glitching. Okay. Uh, can y'all hear her? If y'all can hear her well, let me know. If not, we're going to just record it, and I will throw it up here tonight. So if she freeze one more time, we just record it. It might be up a little late, but I will put it up here tonight, y'all. Go ahead and start speaking. Let's see if they can hear you. Okay, so when I was 16, I had a retinal detachment. Okay. Um, and since then, I've been seeing the ophthalmologist, and each time I go, he says that um, I had macular degeneration and a growth in myopia. Okay, so you have macular regeneration and a growth in your opia. Uh, did they let you know, was it, did they say it was wet or dry macular degeneration? He didn't specify. Okay, so for those that don't know what macular regeneration is, when you look at the macula, the macula is actually in the back of the eye. It's this little pigmentation that sits before the retina, and it's a, a yellowish color. So usually what happens is if it's a dry macular degeneration uh, between the eye and between the retina, what happens is metabolic waste starts to build up. Usually it's mucus or it's amyloid protein or some type of metabolic waste that's not supposed to be in the body that builds up and it pushes the actual retina up and starts to slowly detach the retina from the whole eye itself. Anybody that know what the retina is, the retina is made of these photoreceptor cells. And what the photoreceptor cells does is it captures sunlight and it actually converts the sunlight into signals. And this is how you see. So once you start losing or degenerating your retina cells or the retina become detached, it actually keep you from seeing things. So uh, you said you don't know if it's a wet or dry, right? Mm -mm. OK, and then as far as a wet, a wet one is when blood vessel starts to actually grow. Uh, these blood vessels either come from too much calcium uh, being in the bloodstream. Uh, it actually comes from not getting enough sunlight. And what happens is the blood vessels will swell up and then they will grow and tear through the retina. And then the retina will actually rip it and it will start leaking. So you start leaking blood and fluid and more pus and mucus under that actual patch between the eye and the retina. And that's what you would call uh, wet macular regeneration. So it's all the same thing. But when you look at the issue of it, it is some type of metabolic waste or some type of substance that's stuck between the actual retina and the actual eye of the retina. So we just got to figure out a way to actually remove those metabolic waste byproducts. And usually it's by cleansing the glymphatic system. So the first thing that I would say is, do can you if you take your glasses off, is it very, very blurry? Yeah, I have strong prescription. Okay, do you have any type of, so say right now, if you take your glasses off and you look forward, do you see any type of black spots in the center of your actual uh, sight of your vision? Um, yeah, take them off and see. No. Do you see any black spots? So you don't have that yet going on. Do you have any eye floaters? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. All right, so the eye floaters and this metabolic waste is actually called drusen. If you look it up, it's called drusen, and that's what we're trying to get rid of, the drusen, or what you would call metabolic waste that's built up inside the eye. So if you understand the lymphatic system, the lymphatic system is the sewage system of the actual body, right? So you have a sewage system of the body, and then you have a sewage system of the brain. But the sewage system of the brain is backed up by something called volumetric pressure which come from the lymphatic system, which is the sewage system of the body. So say if 
every time you eat, you have 150 trillion cells that need to eat too, right? So you feed these cells these foods, and then they break down these foods, then they eat these foods. When they eat these foods, the same way that you have to go defecate and go to the bathroom, your cells have to defecate and go to the bathroom as well. So when your cells defecate and go to the bathroom, they don't have legs and they don't have the luxury of using a toilet. So they poop on top of themselves. So what happens is you have something called the interstitial fluid or this river of fluid that flows throughout your body called the lymphatic system that actually pick up all the metabolic waste that that the cells have produced from going through their metabolism, eating all of the small particles that you ate in more of a quantified uh, measure. Right. So if the lymphatic system doesn't pick it up, then that means the lymphatic system is clogged or is backed up. Well, once you back up the lymphatic system, and it takes many, many miles of lymphatic vessels to become backed up like that, what happened is this pressure and this waste will build up and build up until it passes something called the axillary level. The axillary level is right up under your underarms. Then once the axillary level get packed, it get compacted and it backed up to the cervical. And that's what's going on with you. You're backed up cervically. That means you backed up from your throat on up with metabolic acidosis or metabolic waste. Uh So the first thing that your body's going to do because your body have the natural capability of trying to heal itself is it actually backs up into what you will call the maxillary cavities, which is behind your eyes. Have you ever woke up and you had mucus in your eyes or you had eye boogers? Mm -hmm. See, that's what's going on with you. So what's going on is that you have a bunch of mucus and a bunch of metabolic waste in what you would call your, your, your maxillary cavities and then your cephnoid cavities. So what these things do is once these things fill up, acids and mucus mixed together create solidification. So what happens is all of these different acids actually starts to collect themselves inside of this little pouch and it starts separating your retina from your actual eye. And that's what they call uh, uh, macular degeneration. Or, like I said, you will have a thyroid issue where you're growing blood vessels the wrong way or blood vessels are growing uncontrollably, which is it goes through a process called angiogenesis. And then these blood vessels actually pushes themselves through the retina and causes the same thing. So. It's two issues going on. They didn't diagnose you and tell you whether it was wet or dry. So we're going to have to play the elimination game and we're just going to have to heal you on all levels. That's what I would do if I was you. I would just I would act like it's both and then we'll go that way. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move move the lymphatic system. Once we get the the lymphatic system moving and we can start draining it, you will start seeing a lot of that volumetric pressure leave the body. All right, so if you got a pen and a pad, uh, let's start writing these things down. Let's go through the whole process of what I would do if I was suffering from what you were suffering from, and let's see if we can get uh, your, 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 your vision back. And let's see if we can get them glasses off of you. And I know I got an eye here. Let me see. Mm-hmm. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, when you look at an eye, this is an actual big old eye here. Let me put it back together for y'all. This is the lens of the eye, right? It's the cornea inside of this. This is the lens. Now, if you look at the back part, this is the actual retina. Y'all see this little yellow lining? This little yellow lining of the actual eye is what you call a retina. And once this retina becomes detached, these are your photoreceptors. You can't convert or read sun signals or sunlight codes, and this is what stops your vision. And what you will see with a person that have this, uh, this degeneration of the retina the retina starts to separate from the whole entire eye and fluid starts to fill these pockets up and it stops the the vision. Usually it stops it right in the center and it blocks the lens. So they can see when they, they can see from the side of the actual lenses, but they can't see straight up because they start developing these black pouches or these black spots. And I know it sounds crazy, but these black pouches and these black spots is literally nothing but, degree and build up because the lymphatic system is backed up which is backing up the glymphatic system and these are the sewage systems of the body and i try to tell people all the time that the body have three functions you know the blood feeds the cells of the body all the macronutrients all the bioflavonoids all of the amino acids all the electrolytes and minerals that it needs to regenerate itself and plus it gives the body oxygen then you have the nervous system that actually communicates with the body and it tells and commands the body and it's 
cells what to do. And then you have the lymphatic system, which actually cleanses the cells of the body. So I'm going to show you how to cleanse the lymphatic system. So the first thing we have to do is we have to check your diet. Uh, you do, do you smoke? Because smoking is very, very bad. Smoking actually causes these type of uh, diseases anyway. So are you a smoker? No. Okay, so that's good. So you don't smoke. So that's super, super good. All right, my next question is, do you use alcohol? Do you drink any alcohol? No. Okay. All right, my next question is, do you do any type of recreational drugs, period? Any type of recreational drugs, or are you just completely drug-free? Drug-free. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. So let's write down diet. The first thing we have to do is your diet. This is what I'm going to recommend for you because we need to get the glymphatic system moving and the lymphatic system moving. You need to do a 80% fruit diet, 80% fruits. It have to be all organic, 80% fruits. And we're going to do 20% vegetable, 80% fruit, 20% vegetables. And this is for eye floaters. This is for anything that we're talking about. This is this is for that. Anything to deal with the eyes. We got to heal the macula because the macula is that pigmentation that's starting to be degenerized. And I'm a, let me throw it on the screen for y'all can see what I'm talking about. So if y'all look at this screen, y'all see the macula and the macula is literally this little piece right here. You see that? You got the phobia, you have the blood vessels, and usually what happens is these blood vessels will grow uncontrollably and start penetrating the retina. And once it penetrates the retina, it starts to rip the phobia. And then you start growing that macula right there, and then the macula starts to become degenerated, right? Y'all see the pupil, the lenses, and the retina. The retina is this little bitty layer of skin cells, and it literally protects the eye. Uh, from outside sources that's coming from the back of the eye. Not only that, but the retina, again, is photoreceptors, and this is how you get signal from sunlight to actually see and create images or pixels inside of your head. You see what I'm saying? So it's very important that our retina remain attached, and it's very important that we take care of our eyes because that's one of our senses, and that's how we actually download information, y'all. All right? Now I want to show y'all how it looks when it's actually detached. This is how it looks when it's detached. Let me take this off. So, y'all see that? So, this is a retina again. Y'all see that little yellow thing that is circling? Look at the blood cells and the cells is in there. And it's connected to the cones and the rods. And this is how you see. And it sends all these signals to the optic nerve. That's why I always ask, is the retina detached or is it attached? Is it mucus built up on the octave nerve? How is the pupils? Is you developing the cataracts? All this has something to do with systemic acidosis and actual mucus that is being backed up. And usually the mucus or the mucosa membrane gets stimulated and become a waste byproduct is when you stimulate the mucosa membrane with acidic forming foods or being in an acidic forming environment. So we finna check diet and we're going to check the whole entire environment, y'all. So the first thing is this, 80% fruits, uh, make sure that your fruits consist in a bunch of different antioxidants, things that are uh, high in what you would call anthocyanins, things that are high in, uh, in lysopin. You don't need anything that's high in beta carotene, though. Anything that's high in beta carotene will actually be bad for the eyes. So I know a lot of people think that carrots is good for eyesight, but stay away from carrots because carrots are actually bad for eyesight. All right. Now you need things that have natural cit citric acid in them. So these are things like oranges. These are things like grapefruits. These are things like lemons. These are things like limes, uh, key limes. These are things that are very, very, very good because the citric acid is very astringent. And we need something that's going to pull on the cells in the body that's going to dissolve the mucus. That way we can free up all of that different debris from the metabolic waste that's building up in your system and you can get rid of these things. So an all fruit, uh, well, we're going to say an all raw diet, 80% fruit, but out of that 80% fruit, I need at least 10% of that 80% to be high in citric acidic forming fruits. 
And the reason why I'm saying citric acidic forming fruits because it is hot, but it's hot in a way where it breaks down the mucosa membrane and it strips the body because it's very astringent. Okay. Now the rest of your fruits is good, but you're going to need those anthocyanins and lysopins too. So these are things that are very, very colorful, like your blueberries, your blackberries, strawberries, mulberries. So, so go very crazy. And they're very, very antioxidative too. So it's going to bring a lot of oxygen, not only to the brain, but to the octa nerve and to the eye cells. All right. Now, so remember, we said 80% fruit. So that's 20% vegetables. So you need to be high on vegetables as well. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables is going to be very, very good for you. All right. And these things are like bok choy is going to be very amazing for you. Romaine, which is a very watery vegetable. That's going to be good for you as well. Romaine. Watercress is another one that's amazing for you. So make sure that you're looking for all of watery vegetables. Because we have to hydrate the body. So we're not going to only hydrate the body with H3O2 and war H2O, but we're going to hydrate the body with actual raw fruits and raw vegetables as well. All right, now you got another thing that's very, very good uh, for your actual eyesight and your brain. And these are omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, I push a plant-based diet. I do not believe in eating fish. Uh, I don't believe in eating animal products, drinking animal products, anything that comes from something that bleed and have eyes, we are totally against. And I don't think you don't need to be on none of that while you cleansing or healing anyway. So write these things down because this is going to give you the adequate amount of omega-3s and DHAs and EPAs that you need to actually stimulate uh, growth of new neural cells and of new eye cells that's going to repair the actual retina. All right. And these are things like chia seeds. You allowed to have chia seed oil. All right. Write that down. Hemp seed. Hemp seed oil is very, very good. Very amazing. Uh, seaweed. Seaweed. You can go to the store and actually get seaweed or oil or you can get these nori uh, sheets. If you go to like uh, Trader Joe's or if you go to your uh, what's another store? What's another store that got good food at what they say they got good food? Make sure you get the nori seaweed sheets. Then you have algae oil as well. Algae oil is good. Spirulina is good. And believe it or not, but Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts actually have a high amount of omega-3 uh, fatty acids and walnuts. I usually don't recommend this when people are on uh, my protocol, but for this specific uh, situation that we have going on since you are dealing with a detached retina i recommend this for you but i want you to do it in the oil form so whether whether it's walnut oil hemp seed oil chia seeds oil flaxseed oil uh seaweed oil or algae oil long as it's one of them uh make sure that you get that for you can get that dha and that epa inside of you for you can stimulate new eyesight cell growth and neural cell growth you see me because you need that oil and if you need me to say it one more time, I will. Brussels sprouts, spirulina. So my retina is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, my retina is no longer detached. They repaired it. Okay. Um, See, but but the thing is, if if the macula keeps degenerating and you keep getting waste between the mm -hmm. the macula and between the the uh, fovea and between the retina, it's gonna push it and mm -hmm. detach it again. So the whole thing is to strengthen up the retina, strengthen up the cells, and get all the waste from between them. So we, we and the only way we do that is by going after the thyroid, you know, increasing increasing your parathyroid production of calcitonin, and this is going to actually strengthen the connective tissue not only throughout your whole entire body but your eye cells as well. And the only way to do that is to get your omega threes in while we remove the waste and the metabolic waste from the uh, acidic foods you've been eating or from the acidic environment that you've been been in simultaneously at the same time. So the best thing to do when healing, what I notice, is to treat it like it's already detached. Just treat it like it's already detached. And 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 I'm glad that they repaired it and it's and it's and it's back. And that's the reason why you don't have them black spots too because they did repair it. But it but remember what this is called. 
This is called macular degeneration. So degeneration, it takes a while, but the eyesight's are disintegrating slowly but surely. You see what I'm saying? So what they're doing is they repaired the retina and then they gave you glasses mm -hmm. to prolong your eyesight as long as possible. But if you don't stop the cause of the de degenerative process, which is acidosis and metabolic waste that's built up in the eyes, and sometimes it be hookworms and little fluke worms in your eyes as well. If we don't stop that problem, then you know later on down the eye, later on down the line, I mean, what's what's gonna happen? Your eye, you're gonna lose your eyesight. You see what I'm saying? So we hit everything on all sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we talked about the diet. Did you write down everything? The spirulina, mm -hmm. the Brussels sprouts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, uh, seaweed, sea moss, algae. These are the major three, the omega threes, the DHAs, and the EPAs that you need. Yes, and you said in the oil, right? Yep, in the oil form, in the oil form. But that way you get it straight to the liver and the gallbladder, and, and these lipids get released straight to you. All right. So the next thing that we need to do. So we talked about the diet. Now we got to talk about the actual liquid. You need to increase your liquid. You're one. You said you're five, nine and you weigh 140, right? Yes. OK, so you five, nine and you 140. I want to increase your liquid intake to about 55 ounces of liquids a day. I want to truly, truly hydrate the cells. 55 ounces of liquids a day. Now, out of that 55 ounces, I want you to take 25 of those ounces daily, and we're going to dedicate that to dark leafy green vegetable juice. Dark leafy green vegetable juice. Okay? That's going to be very, very good for your eyes. Dark leafy green vegetable juice. That's 25. 25 ounces of dark leafy green vegetable juice, and you can mix it up as well. If you want to mix it up and one day you do dark leafy green vegetable juice and then the next day you do your, your fruits, your berries, go do a berry juice of 25 ounces and you just drink that to the day. Or if you got, you know, you got any things like that. Only thing I would not recommend you juicing is your grapes because the grapes have a very, very high sugar content in them when you juice them. So do not juice your grapes. And no bananas while you're on this protocol because bananas are very, very starch, mucus-forming fruit. So don't, you can't eat any bananas. All right, so now we talked about the 25 ounces out of the 55 ounces of liquids. That's going to be dedicated to fruit juice and dark leafy green vegetable juice. This is going to leave you with 30 ounces left a day to play with. These 30 ounces should be your spring water, H2O. And I recommend that you use a brand called Pana, P-A-N-A. It's called Aqua Pana. Uh, the Pana is in uh, orange letters. And it's, it is in a glass jar. That's the only water that I have tested so far that we took to the laboratory that don't have any type of contaminants in it yet. Notice I said yet because they contaminated in all the water. So it's Pana. Have you ever seen it, Aquapana? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so that's what you're going to do. So we talked about the fruit and the vegetables, which is your diet. We also just talked about the actual Occupana water, right? And we talked about 25 ounces of dark leafy green vegetables or 25 ounces of fruit juice a day. The only thing you're not going to be juicing is grapes in this scenario. Now we have to move on to lifestyle because lifestyle is very, very important, right? This is your most important thing. So what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to stop anything that is contaminating or calcifying the actual pineal gland or the pituitary gland because all of these things help you see. Uh, you can't have any fluoride or chloride in your toothpaste. No fluoride or chloride in your toothpaste. Your toothpaste should be chemically free. And if you cannot find any chemically free toothpaste out here, what you can do is you can go on my website and you can actually buy what you were, uh what we call the tooth and gum restoration powder. It is amazing. I heal my mouth with it. We have healed millions of mouths with this toothpaste. So you can just go on my website and buy the tooth and gum restoration powder if you cannot find your own chemically free toothpaste. All right, so we talked about the toothpaste. Next, we have to talk about deodorant. Stop all deodorant, even if. Even if it says that it's a uh, clear deodorant, stop it. You see me? 
So, and what, what you're going to use is you're going to actually be using, I don't know what happened to my camera, y'all, forgive me. But what you're going to actually be using is uh, key limes, lemons, or regular limes. Key lime, lemons, or regular limes. Can you tell Jay to come in and change my batteries out my camera? Y'all hear that? Key limes, lemons, or regular limes. Okay, let me know once you got that written down. So we talked about toothpaste. We talked about deodorant. Got it. Okay, now we have to talk about what you put in, into your skin. No more lotions or moisturizer. The only thing that I'm going to recommend in this specific instance is either virgin, organic, 100% coconut oil, or you're going to actually be using 100% grapeseed oil, which is what I'm using. 100% grapeseed oil should be going in your skin. Nothing else. Let me know once you got that written down. Got it. Okay, so now we got to talk about soaps. What are you washing your body with? You need chemically free, contaminated free soaps. Uh, we sell soaps on the website. Uh, we have a bunch of varieties of soaps on the website. If you don't like the varieties that we have, uh, then what I would offer you to do is go on Amazon or go to your local herbal store uh, and get you some West Ghana African soap, which is amazing. You got to change those batteries out completely, which is uh, West Ghana African soap. That is good for you as well. And this shows you that I'm not trying to just get you to buy from me. I'm letting you know if the prices don't make sense to you, if you can find it authentic and you can trust where you get it from, you know, hey, buy it from them. Buy it from them. Okay, so we talked about the toothpaste. We talked about the soaps. Uh, we talked about the deodorant, not wearing deodorant, using key limes, lemons, or regular limes. Uh, we talked about the oil, what to put in your skin, which is coconut oil or 100% grapeseed oil. Uh, now we have to talk about what you washing your hair with because that's very, very important because that seeps into your brain and go right to your eyes because it goes into the maxillary cavity or the syphonoid cavity. Uh, we have sea moss soap on the website that you can wash your body in your hair with or you can use something called Dr. Bronner's. And I'm not promoting them. I'm just saying these are things that we haven't found any contaminants in. That's good to wash your hair with too, uh, Dr. Bronner's. Or you can just find a chemically free uh, shampoo and conditioner. And wash your hair that way. But you can't put any chemicals in your head. Once you got that, let me know. What about shea butters? The reason why I'm recommending shea butter, y'all. Uh, so somebody just asked us, what about shea butter? The reason why I'm not recommending uh, actual shea butter is because shea butter is thick. Even though there's not no contaminants in it, it blocks the pores and it keeps things from coming out because it seals the pores. So it's a it's good if you ain't got nothing, you know, in your body. But if you got bad things in your body that need to be detoxified out of the body by something called glutathione, then I wouldn't recommend that you rub actual shea butter into your skin because that butter literally blocks the pores to your cells. And now you're trapping in uh, uh, contaminants or you're trapping in chemicals or you're trapping in environmental pollutants. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I don't recommend that. OK. That's the reason why, family. All right, so we done talked about all these things. Now we have to talk about, you know, because we are cleansing you. So one thing I do not want to do is I don't want to be cleansing you, and then we are getting rid of everything that I'm taking you through with the cleanse because you are jumping in the shower or you taking baths in tap water because this will literally undo everything that we've been doing. So this is what I recommend you do. I recommend that you get on Amazon and you actually find a water filtration system a water filtration system. Uh, and this is what you make sure that the water filtration system actually, it stops mercury. It stops aluminum. If you can find one that stops actual uh, microplastics, it's amazing. I found one of them, but it was crazy. They wanted like 10 grand for it. But if you can find a cheap one that can stop microplastics, it's amazing. Of course, your fluoride and your chloride and arsenic acid. The main ones you're going to be looking for, though, is chloride, fluoride, arsenic acid, and aluminum. 
I'm pretty sure you can find one of those and it'd be uh inexpensive. Let me know once you uh, wrote that down. Thank you, Faith. Faith St. Hill. Faith St. Hill, uh, she just posted those for y'all. She just posted them, and it's right there, y'all. Th these are the things that you cannot have in the water filter. So uh, make sure that you get that filter. That way we are most definitely getting all these things out of the body. All right, so we talked about the food. We talked about the liquid intake. We talked about the lifestyle or, what, or basically making your whole entire environment chemically free. Now we have to talk about the extra part of the lifestyle. You need sunlight. Uh, since, you're, since you had a detached retina and they retached it and you're actually dealing uh, with the issue that you're dealing with right now with the, degener uh, the degeneration of the back of your eye, I don't recommend you staring into the sun, but you do need direct sunlight. So what I would do if I was you, I would get out in that sun for at least an hour and a half a day. And uh, the time that you get in the sun is very, very important. So what I would do is I would get in the sun right between the hours of 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. I do a whole hour in direct sunlight, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. This will give you a bunch of infrared sunlight spectrum. And the reason why is because you have 150 trillion cells that make up your body and every cell requires sunlight or infrared sunlight or fragments of uh, sunlight, even blue light in, in, in most cases for all of its biological functioning, including the eyes. So, an hour and a half. So do an hour between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. if you can. If you need to do it er earlier, go on and do it earlier. Do not do it while the sun is so high in the sky because I don't want you to damage your eyes more because they already damaged. Usually I will use the sun to stimulate eyes and, and promote growth. But since yours is already damaged, I wouldn't recommend sun gazing right now. And then that last 30 minutes that I was talking about, I say do that between 3 and 4 p.m. 3 and 4 p.m. So you're going to do an hour between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Then you're going to do that next 30 minutes between 3 or 4. That's an hour and a half of sunlight spectrum a day. Let me know once you got that written down. Got it. Okay, so next thing we have to talk about breathing. Oxygen is very, very important, so you need to make sure that you're putting air purifiers around the house. I recommend that you use natural air purifiers and get you spider plants and money plants. These things are very uh, inexpensive that you can get from Walmart to put around the household, or you can do an, another route where you don't have to take care of the plants. I think taking care of the plants will build integrity and responsibility, and it'll give you this nature connection, nature and body connection, so I love for you to do plants but if you don't just have time to do that you can get you an air filtration uh purifier off of amazon for like 60 bucks that'll do a great job too and make sure that you're purifying your air that way you're drawing in the adequate amount of clean oxygen that way you can stimulate the blood vessels and you can stimulate the cells every cells in your body need oxygen not only for growth but for atp and energy so make sure that you get some oxygenated plants in your home or buy an air purifier and put it in your home also, you need to do some deep diaphragmatic breaths too. Uh, get on YouTube and type in deep diaphragmatic breathing or box breathing, and they'll show you how to breathe. And this will actually give a lot of get a lot of ox uh, oxygen to your head as well to help repair those eyes. Let me know once you got that down. Got it. All right, so your problem is the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is backed up, especially the lymph noise that's in your gut. So we really have to cleanse your gut and get that moving. The best way to move the lymphatic system or what they call the cisterna cali, that which is this big old lymph noid in the stomach, is by doing rebounding. You need a rebounder. A rebounder is basically a small mini trampoline that you can bring inside of your household. A small mini trampoline. All right, and you're going to jump up and down on that trampoline for about 20 to 30 minutes every single day. Every single day. This is I don't know nothing that moves the lymphatic system more than rebounding. I'm not, I'm talking about faster than herbs, faster than jump roping, faster than running, faster than working out. It's something in the action of the bounce of an actual uh, uh, trampoline or the bounce of a rebounder. And there's so many scientific uh, scholarly articles on this that just move the lymphatic and the glymphatic system. 
So make sure that you get a rebounder. Please do. It's amazing for moving the lymphatic system. So get a rebounder. That'll be amazing. 20 minutes a day. Uh, last but not least, I need you to do a sauna. You can get on Amazon or you can get on uh, Wayfair. I bought me a sauna for $300. It works like an actual real steam sauna. And I get in that sauna 30 minutes a day just to get all of the different types of uh, putrefaction or all the different types of mucus or any environmental pollutants out of my body through my skin. Yes, y'all. If you can get a trampoline, get on that trampoline. My old ass jumping on the trampoline. Yes, me. Hey, get on that trampoline. All right. So, uh, last but not least, so we talked about the whole entire lifestyle. We talked about your diet, what you're supposed to be eating. Eighty percent fruits, twenty percent vegetables. We talked about going on a fifty-five ounce liquid intake a day. Out of those fifty-five ounces, twenty-five of those ounces will be dedicated to fruit and vegetable juices. The other thirty ounces will be dedicated to H two O spring water, Pana Aquapana. We talked about the lifestyle. We talked about getting all chemical-free soaps, chemically-free deodorant. We talked about not using deodorant, actually use lemons, limes, or key limes. We talked about if you're going to use shampoo, Dr. Bronner's, or get my Seamoss soap off the website, or find some type of uh, shampoo and conditioner that don't have any contaminants in it. We also talked about only rubbing coconut oil or grapeseed oil into your skin, nothing else, right? We talked about the toothpaste. The toothpaste should be fluoride and chloride-free. We talked about getting a water filter on the shower and uh, make sure that you're washing your hands in the shower. Whichever place you get that water filter, that's the only place that you operate in it when it comes to washing anything. And this is very, very important. Very important. We talked about that you need an hour and a half of sunlight a day. We talked about jumping on a rebounder and we talked about deep diaphragmatic breathing. Next thing that I really want to talk about is the herbs. The herbal protocol that I'm going to recommend for you, and since you did this for me, this, and you're the first person that did this for me, I want to offer you uh, about 30% off. I want to offer you 30% off. Write that down. 30% off on your package. And uh, I'm going to offer you the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 1. And with this is going to come the Upright Tincture, the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 1 on my site. It's actually a six-week protocol that is a month and a half. Out of the six-week protocols, you're going to be taking capsules. You're going to be taking tinctures. You're going to be taking teas. And you're going to be taking tonics. This is going to flush your cells. It's called a cellular chelation. We're going through and we're flushing and rinsing every 150 trillion cells in your body. And then we're going to be rebuilding and toning and strengthening as you cleansing at the same time. Somebody asked and said, what about your clothes? If this was an actual herpes uh Latrice Adams, if she was like a herpes uh, client or if she was dealing with things like HIV and stuff like that, I, I will be worried about the azo dye and things like that. Uh, but she's already backed up uh, volumetrically, so I'm not going to even worry about her washing her clothes. I'm pretty sure she washed them anyways. But when people are going through their shedding period and they're dealing with herpes, that's when I say, hey, every 72 hours, wash your bed sheet covers, wash your uh, pillowcases, wash your clothes. Make sure that you only wearing 100 percent cotton and make sure that you wearing solid white or solid black colors. No asthma dye. But she's not going through something where she's dealing with these micro uh scopic parasites that's living throughout the nervous system so i'm not going to push the 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 washing clothes on her too much but i'm since you said it we throw it there anyway make sure you keeping your clothes clean but it's not detrimental it's not going to slow down uh your process and healing because you're not dealing with you know herpes or the creepy crawlers or hiv or AIDS and stuff like that but that's a good that's a good question though latrice all right, so that's what you need. Uh, if you do all of those things, you should see it. I mean, you should you should see a turnaround like very very quickly. That's what I recommend. That's what I recommend that you do. Now, uh, this the floor is for you. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, ask them. Any questions? Oh, and somebody mentioned deodorant. I'm I'm glad that we mentioned that. The deodorant that I use is uh seven generations. Seven Generations is a good deodorant, or if I don't feel like buying Seven Generation deodorant, what I do is I use a pinch of lavender and I use a uh, baking soda. Baking soda is very, very good. Uh, sodium bicarbonate without the aluminum or what they call baking soda. And I put a tad bit of, uh, tad bit of tea tree and a tad bit of lavender in there. And that's very, very good to actually wash your clothes with. But uh I've been noticing seven generations is it's been getting the job done. And it's a few more out there too. So, you know, uh I'm not saying be a Google expert, but getting on Google and just Googling that and checking 
you know, the background and really doing your research on these companies. There are companies out there that do that. Use uh, vinegar. Only I stopped using vinegar, y'all, because it started eating up my clothes like bleach. That's the only reason why I stopped using vinegar, because it started eating up my clothes like bleach. All right, you got any questions for me, Michaela? So what causes nearsightedness? Uh, anything. It can be a, a rip. It can be a rip in the actual retina. Uh, it can be a protein, a stimulating protein growth hormone that is actually produced in your pancreas called simio uh, statin. It can be from a weird shaped head, literally. Uh, it can be from the sun. It, anything can cause nearsightedness, but usually, usually it's actually mucus or a mucus film that's built up on the eyes. And that's what you're going through now because we have to understand that what protects the body is the mucosa membrane. So first you have the skin that protects the body, right? The epithelial, the epithelial layer of the skin that protects the body. Then you have this mucosa membrane that's inside of your skin that protects your body from the outside world. What happens is when certain types of pathologies or foreign invaders uh, get in the body or you eat the wrong things, which is foreign invaders anyway, the mucosa membrane will stimulate itself and then it will start overproducing to actually neutralize or buffer out these pathologies or acids. Well, if you never change your lifestyle or if you never go on a detox, what happens is the lymphatic system becomes backed up and the cell starts to drown. Once that's over with, you start backing up glymphatically. And this glymphatic system is nothing but the mucous membrane of the head. So imagine you having these big old holes called cavities inside of the back of your eyes that fills up with mucus and you never get rid of them. Eventually, they start spilling over into the pupils or they start spilling over into the corneas and then it gets filled up. You have to look at the eye. Look at the eye. You see this this film or this lens on the, on the, on the uh, front of it? This can fill up with fluid. Have you ever seen somebody take oil and, and inject it in the eye or remove fluid from the eye? Doctors do it all the time. You got to ask them sometimes what that fluid is. That'd be mucus that's built. That's all a cataract is. So usually when you see somebody that can't see, it's either something wrong with the octave nerve, something is wrong with the retina, something is wrong with the phobia, or you have mucus that is building around the lens of the eye. All of it is happening because of acids, though. It's a, it's a living acidic lifestyle rather that be the because think about how you see you see through your senses these senses or nerve impulses these nerves impulses come from the infrared spectrum light of the sun so there's a signal loss there where's that signal loss coming from that's nerves so you are the damaging nerves what damaged nerves if it's not trauma that's damaging the nerves then it's acids that's damaging the nerves if it's not the acids that's damaging nerves then it's metabolic waste byproducts from which we've been eating or what we've been what we've been bringing into the uh, what we've been bringing into our bodies in the environment, which is acidic forming, anyways. So if it's not blunt force trauma to the actual eyes, then what could it be? It would have to be acidosis. And what they do is they just say a bunch of other stuff than acidosis. They say a bunch of other stuff. They would say, well, degeneration. So then you have to ask yourself, what causes the degenerative process of a cell? It can't be the alkaline side because the alkaline side is the base side. The base side is the, the life-giving side. These are alkaloids. These are things that give life. That's a potential hydrogen of seven or better. That don't kill or destroy things or dehydrate things or shrink things. So then you would have to say, well, then it must be the acidic gnarly side of chemistry, which is the acidic side. The root cause to all so-called diseases, what I'm going to say detoxification symptoms, is acidosis. And that's what we're dealing with, metabolic acidosis. It's acids that's caused nearsightedness, foresightedness, whether it be acids that's damaging the nerves, acids that's damaging the eye tissues, acids that's damaging the retina, which is the photoreceptor to the eyes, acids damaging the actual pupils, the cornea, the phobia. It's acids. So once you get rid of the acids by draining the actual acid trash can that we call the glymphatic system or the lymphatic system, that's when you start seeing life or cells becoming regenerating back into the body. And then all of those symptomologies of detoxification will go away. Because remember, I don't believe in disease. I believe in symptoms of detoxification. I don't think it's a disease at all. I think it's the body naturally trying to heal itself. And when you play with the right side of chemistry or when you play with the right side of nature, you will see a lot of these things go away because the body don't need to detox or go through the symptoms no more. All 
I know I just said a lot. You got that though, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So as far as <laughs> why you glass, cheesing like how do I go about that? As as far as glasses, so what I would do, uh, do you know your prescription? Like, do you know what your actual uh -huh. prescription is? Yeah. Uh, what is your prescription? It's, um, like negative. Okay. Like so negative yeah. thirteen in the left eye, and then negative eleven in the right. Okay, so yeah, you got some thick, you got some thick uh bifocals on there. So what I would do is this uh, you cause cause I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real. The more and more you keep the lenses on, the more and more it weakens your eyesight. But I think you already know that, right? Because your eyes become depending on the lenses. So whenever you wear those lenses, this lens become weaker and weaker. So in order to strengthen this lens, you're gonna have to take off those lenses. You see what I'm saying? So what I would do if I was you, because I'm not a doctor, I can't tell you what to do. But if 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 I was you as a biochemist and as a uh, master herbalist, I would say strengthen up your eyes. Wear your prescriptions, you know, only when you really, really, really need them. Say if you read in a book, you see what I'm saying? Or say say if you really need them, put them on. But keep if if, if it was me, I would keep them off as much as possible. That way I can rebuild my lenses, especially while I'm detoxifying. What about wearing a weaker prescription? Now, so and look, and that's I what need we, them to see at work. Yeah. So and that's what I did. And that's what I did to one of my uh, other clients. She downgraded her prescription. And what's crazy is she wearing her glasses less and less. And she's been going through the protocol for only about uh, four months. And she haven't changed her diet yet. But she she probably wearing her glasses probably two hours, three hours a day. So if you want to downgrade, you can, too. Uh, just me as me. You know, I can't tell you because the doctors prescribed you something. The moment I tell you don't take what they prescribe, it's illegal for me. And they trying to lock my black ass up right now. And anyway, so I can't say that. But I would say if it was Yaki, I would do that. I would downgrade if it was me. And then after the downgrading, I would see how my eyes is adjusting to the detoxification and my lenses just and my retina just becoming stronger. And I'm getting those photos receptors. I done cleansed out the acid out of my eyes. If I'm seeing better, I don't need the prescription anyway. So the whole thing is weaning yourself down or weaning yourself off. Same thing with high blood pressure medication. If 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 you eating too much sodium or dehydration caused you to have hypertension and now you stop eating sodium, you have hydrated your body and your blood pressure is regulating itself by itself. What's the point of using high hypertension medicine anymore? You see what I'm saying? So it's it's the mm -hmm. same concept. Got any more so questions? Yeah, I have one more. So they told my son is four and they told me that he needs glasses. Um, I didn't put them in them. So can I do these same things for him minus the yeah, herbs? Same exact thing. And no, not minus the herbs. You can give him the okay. herbs. Beautiful thing about nature's herbs is it's for all ages. All ages okay. can take herbs. Herbs go by weight. It doesn't go by age. So what okay. when you get the herbs, just look on the back of them, and, and you would take it as far as his dosage. That's what you would do. So I would do the same exact thing for him. I wouldn't put him on a geogenetic therapeutic package. What you can just do for him is give him the eyebright tincture from off the site, the eyebright tincture. Get him the eyebright tincture from off the site, and then get him some eyebright tea. That way he's taking it topically, and he's taking it internally. And he'll just be on the same diet as you. That's it. And if you start seeing him lose weight, just make sure that you switch over and give him quinoa and stuff like that to keep his weight on because they've been tripping lately. They've been taking pe the the police and the government been taking people children off from these detoxes. They be calling it malnutrition and all types of other crazy. It's like the boy is detoxing. So just make sure that you're watching his weight. Okay. Do you have the tea on your site or just the tincture? Yes, I know. I have the tea as well. Uh, but what I'm gonna do for you though, I'm gonna throw that, I'm gonna throw the tea, I'm gonna throw his stuff in there for free. Okay. Write it down. And when you when you uh hit up Bernard at orders uh at the orders at orders at yakiawaken.com, when you hit up Bernard, tell him that we did do the consultation, let him know that I said I was gonna give you your son stuff for free. And you still get okay. 30 off. Thank you. No, it's all good. Uh, Tamika Holmes said you mentioned targeting the thyroid. What would you do when it comes to health 
of the thyroid that contributes to her case? Uh, that's a very, very good question. So inside of the geogenetic therapeutic package level one, uh, I believe is in week three and four, uh, we actually have thyroid tinctures and we have a high circulation uh, tincture. When we go after the thyroid, we deliver aldehyde, uh to the well, aldine to the thyroid for the thyroid sites and the thyroglobulin can connect themselves and convert that aldine to aldide. Once they get converted to aldide, this will actually help strengthen the thyroid, which will strengthen the parathyromone. The parathyromone then can do its job, which is create more blood calcification. Well, let me not say blood calcification because y'all want to think I'm talking about solidification. So let me say in a different terms, more blood mineral calcium. And what calcium does is calcium binds tissues together with zinc and it makes the connective tissues of the cell stronger. This will keep the retina stronger. So whenever you see weak connective tissues or whenever you see weak broken bones or you see anything weak, especially when we're talking about the the, the phys physiology of the body and anatomy of the body, when you see weak things, that's a weak thyroid and parathyroid. So naturally, since I know that the retina was detached before, this letting me know, you know, something is wrong with the thyroid and the pituitary gland because it was detached in the first place. You know, I don't care if acids get back there or not. That thyroid, that retina is supposed to be so strong that it can't be torn. But if it is being torn, that means we need to work on it. And you work on it by calcitonin. You work on calcitonin by making sure the thyroid is good. And how the thyroid is good is by the para. Thyroid. So you got to go after the thyroid and the parathyroid. And I will use that uh, with my, yeah, my parathyroid uh, tincture and parathyroid and thyroid think tincture and my uh, upper circulation, which is going to bring blood to that thyroid. And then by her changing her diet, it's going to be less mucus that's in her throat anyway that's on that thyroid. Y'all have to remember that she's backed up glymphatically. That's the reason why her eyes is acting the way they acting. Well, guess what's in that cervical? The first cervical area is your throat. You know, once you look behind that, what is that? That's your thyroid. You know, the laryngeal prominence right behind the laryngeal prominence is the thyroid. And I bet you it's a bunch of mucus there. So we're going to see her coughing up a lot of mucus. She's going to wake up spitting up a lot of mucus. You're going to wake up. You have a bunch of mucus coming out of your eyes. You got mucus coming out of your ears. You're going to have to wash your hair a lot because you're going to see a bunch of dandruff coming. These are all detoxification symptoms and us pulling all of that mucus out of your body. So don't don't get scared. It just means that the herbs and your lifestyle is working. Okay. Good question to me. Have, have you heard of something called morphine syndrome? Yeah, I didn't heard of that before, too. My, um, I got a physical at work and the doctor. He had me because um, he's seen that I had a retinal detachment mm -hmm. and he had me um, put my fingers around my wrist. And that made him wonder if I had morphine syndrome. And he told me the. Um, I mean, even. Even if you even if you did, you're going on one of the biggest detoxifications I know. Literally, we finna clean every 150 trillion cells of your body through a chelation herb, herbal protocol. We finna go after the nervous system. We're going after the blood. We're cleansing up the blood. But our main thing is going to be focused on your gut, your kidneys, and your adrenals, and your lymphatic system. Once you cleanse those, me personally, this is my personal opinion, YouTube and Facebook. I'm not speaking as a doctor, so don't take this off. My personal opinion and all the thousands of clients that I didn't had, once you address those, everything else is history. I'm telling you, you will start seeing things that you can that you thought would never be reversed, then reversed. I'm telling you. I mean, and, and I know if you get on the Rumble account, if you look at all the testimonies we post, you see it all the time. So, you know, I pretty much don't be too scared of nothing when it comes, especially syndromes. You know what I'm saying? These things can be easily removed from the body if you put your cells in the right environmental place that the cells can thrive in. The best thing about cells is they rejuvenate themselves. Your question should be, how do I rejuvenate new eye cells? How do I reju rejuvenate new retina cells? How do I rejuvenate new macular cells? How do I rejuvenate new phobia cells? And the way you do that is through a alkaline lifestyle. Now, when I say alkaline lifestyle, I don't mean everything could be alkaline because it's impossible. You being completely alkaline, you would die because your body performs in an acidic medium. You have a uh, you have deoxyribose nucleic acid. That's an acid. You have hydrochloric acid. That's an acid. You have ribose nucleic acid. These are acids that make, these are the natural building blocks of amino acids. So your body is is balanced. It's made with all acid principles, but it op it operates in acids. But the fundamental principles, which is the lymphatic system and the blood that feeds and cleanses the body, is alkaline and base in nature. And this is how you live. You live 
by the blood because the blood feeds the body the amino acids, the blood feeds the body the minerals, the blood feeds the body the oxygen. Well, when the blood feeds the body all these foods and oxygen, it goes through a process where it has to consume these things. Whenever you use energy, you create a byproduct. So now not only was all these things alkaline coming in, but it went through its medium. That medium was acidic. So now it have to go through another buffering system to make it alkaline again. And that's what the lymphatic system for. It's a lipid based oil that looks like mucus inside the body that roams around 150 trillion cells. And what it does is it buffers and neutralize acids 24 seven, 365. And sometimes it picks up acids. It picks up parasites. It disintegrate them and break them down through something called lymph nodes. It's called macrophages. They break these things down and disintegrate these things into like these little bitty micro particles. And then you urinate them out. So the two main things of the body that saves the body because remember the blood feeds the cells of the body and the lymphatic system cleanses the cells is the most alkalining principles and fluids in your body. Everything else in your body is acidic as hell by nature. So that's what we mean by being alkaline, having good blood and having a flowing moving lymphatic system. If you got these two things, I don't give a damn what hit this earth or what hit this planet. You will remain in the balance of homeostasis. That's it. You got anything else for me? Um, can I eat avocados while doing this? Yes, you can eat avocados and avocados. Is, and I was hoping he was going to ask that question early when I was talking about fatty acids, but you didn't. But yes, <laughs> avocados is good and avocados is uh, good for fatty acids. And believe it or not, avocados is good for the eyes and it's good for the retina. So you would get a bunch of your fatty acids from there as well. Just stay away from those bananas. But avocados is good. That's on the list. You're not dealing with herpes. Usually people that have herpes or different type of STDs, we tell them to stay away from avocados, uh, stay away from coconut flesh and to stay away from asparagus and Brussels sprouts and things like that because it's high in L-arginine. You actually need L-arginine because L-arginine is a proliferator. Not only is it a, a proliferator but it helps grow new cells so that'd be good for your eyes as well okay yep anything else no all right well that will conclude our consultation i really really want to thank you i'll keep looking at you because you're on my computer but i'm not looking at the camera so i'm going to look at the camera to look in your face even though i'm not seeing your face i truly want to thank you and let you know i appreciate you uh for doing this uh commercial educational consultation with us uh, we're going to give you 30% off on your package. You have my word. I'm going to make sure we get it shipped out ASAP. Anybody that's out there that want to do this, all you have to do is go on my actual website, click on consultations, and click on the commercial educational consultation. It's actually cheaper than talking to me on a uh, one-on-one on the phone, and this is for the people. That's why I, I took, what, $250 off of my nat my regular ones to do this. That's because our people need this type of content, y'all. I'm here for the healing. It's not about the money. It's for the healing, family. But, you know, hey, if you're going to take me from writing my book, you're going to take me from shooting my films, you're going to take me from my lectures, you're going to take me from raising my children, spending time with my wives, you are going to have to pay for my time. All right? So, uh, and it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of free videos on YouTube and on Facebook and on my Instagram. You can look at for free. That's very, very educational. I do suggest y'all go through those and look through all those before you even book a consultation with me because I might have already answered all the questions that you need. But if you go through those and you do your own due diligence and researching me and what I'm talking about and you can't find it, then book a consultation. And if you do book the consultation, book the commercial education one for we can do a live like this where we can edify and bring our people together. Do you got anything to say to the people, Michaela? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, they on here, they saying blessings to you and they're thanking you uh, from doing that. They, they saying thank you for doing well, this. Thank y'all for having me. All right. Well, uh, make sure that when you're ready to order, you reach out to Brother Bernard. That way we can uh, make sure that we make do with all the promises that I have made you on this here live. And then we'll be talking to you soon while you're going through your protocol. Brother Bernard will be reaching out to you every couple of weeks, uh, either through email or on phone. And if you have any questions that he can't answer, he will get me in contact with you. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate uh, it. I appreciate you. All right, goddess. Thank you. Blessings. Peace, peace, family, peace, peace. If y'all like that type of consultation, that live consultations, if y'all like that, uh, her name is Michaela Sims, y'all. If y'all like that type of, yeah, keep up with her, keep up with her, keep up with her healing the herbs work. 
If y'all like stuff like that, type in some nines, and we're going to keep this going, family. This was my first episode, episode one. I will change and, uh, and edit the title now since we know what she was going through. Uh, I think this is a major start of something great, y'all. And remember, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not here trying to prescribe medicines. I'm not here trying to be a doctor. What's the hell is the statement? Let me find this statement while we edit because I already see. They just verified me. Y'all see I got to verify YouTube now, and I actually got I actually got a check on here. I don't want to get on here messing up already. My first episode, they taking my stuff down. So let me find this. Uh, Let me find this good old statement real quick and throw it up. Let me throw this statement up real fast. Where is it at? And if y'all got any questions, any questions whatsoever, y'all can most definitely ask them. All right, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Facebook, any diseases, YouTube, any diseases, Instagram, or wherever this video may go. All of this is allegedly. <laughs> That's crazy we got to do shit like that. That is crazy, man. But it is what it is in this world that we live in. It is what it is in this world that we live in. I got a few questions I can answer before we get out of here. What y'all got for me? What y'all got for me? Can we talk about diabetes? Uh, yes, black roses. We can talk about diabetes. I actually have videos on diabetes, though. But uh, diabetes or uh, what you will call hyperglycemia, uh, one or two. One is when you're insulin dependent. Two is when your sugar is just high. It's all dealing with what you will call the pancreas. And usually you're dealing with the beta cells inside the pancreas because the beta cells is weak and is not producing insulin. What we have been noticing is most of the diabetes problem is a actual nervous system problem. It's when the autonomic nervous system is not actually talking with the brain and with the actual pancreas telling it when to produce insulin. That's what we see. Uh, how we get rid of diabetes, whether it's one or two, we actually put our people on an all fruit diet. I know this sounds crazy, but if you look at the testimonies that's on my Instagram and look at the testimonies that's all over a uh, Facebook that we have, that's how we healed all of our diabetes patients is through all fruit. And the reason why is fruit goes a lipid route. Fruit infuses itself into the liver. Then the liver and fruit infuses the fructose into the cells. It don't need the pancreas like glucose. So if you want to give the pancreas a rest, you would get the actual uh, pancreas support kit off my website, going to all fruit diet. Uh, while you're on the pancreas support kit, then you'll look up 30 to 40 days later. you be like, damn, I don't need my insulin pen no more. I know it sounds simple, but healing is simplistic. It is not complicated at all, family. At all. But I actually have diabetes videos where we went deep into diabetes. Deep. Uh, somebody said 5% kidney function. If, you're, if your kidneys are functioning at 5%, that means you're not urinating anymore. And it must mean you're on dialysis. And my guess is you're on dialysis probably about three or four times a week. If your kidneys are only operating at that, that means you have fluid on the heart too. I've never seen 5% kidneys without fluid on the heart. What I would recommend is my cardiovascular kit, really the geogenetic therapeutic package level one. They must have you on some type of liquid restriction. So you probably on like a 22 ounce to a 32 ounce liquid restriction. So I would just change that from water to juices for we can hydrate the body. And you need to go after those adrenals. Get those adrenals online. If you can get those adrenals up and running, that will kick on the kidney filtration and you can start regenerating those kidneys. But you Usually kidneys uh, operating like that either come from hypertension or what you call high blood pressure or diabetes or heart disease. So there's other underlining detoxification symptoms that you're going through that's causing the kidneys to do that. So with stuff like that, I would recommend that you get a consultation, brother, because we got to find the root cause. Of course, the root cause is acids, but what type of acids? How have it damaged the body? Did it damage the heart? Did it damage the cardiovascular system? Did it damage the vascular musculatory system? Is the kidneys functioning? Is the kidneys a pass, a point of no return? These are things that we need to talk about. So that will be actually, you need to book a consultation with me. Yes. What does the vegetable diet consist of? Uh, QLVL life. I think I said your name right. Peace, God. Uh, the vegetable diet consists of all vegetables, all vegetables. Just make sure that your vegetables are alkaline forming, and it's pretty good. And make sure that everything you eat is organic and that it's herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides free. Uh, somebody asked about ovarian cysts. I did a whole video 
on ovarian cyst, family. A whole video on that. Whole video. Yes, Hawthorne Berry is very, very good for the heart. Heartburn. Heartburn means you lacking magnesium. Magnesium actually closes something called the cardiac sphincter. We have to remember that calcium inside of the blood constrict the muscle tissues or constrict the arteries or the uh, the vascular system. Magnesium relaxes muscle tissues, relaxes cells, relaxes the basal ganglia cells of the body. So whenever you see magnesium, that's a relaxation. It relaxes muscles and closes doors. Whenever you see calcium, that is a constriction. It can Strict things, swell up things. That's why if you look at calcium in the body, it's a buffering system for acids. So whenever you're dealing with heartburn, you're dealing with a magnesium deficiency. And that means that that door called the cardiac sphincter is not closing properly. And you you lay in the wrong way after you eat certain foods. So that acid is coming up the esophagus and burning the hell out of your esophagus. And sometimes y'all thinking y'all having a heart attack and y'all not. You just burning some esophagus tissue. All right, tell I'm finna get up out of here. That will conclude this. Uh, like I said, go on the site. Uh, matter of fact, y'all, we cannot forget, family. I'm having a big old event. We back in. Uh, let me hold on. Let me turn my screen real quick. I got to show y'all this. I'm tripping. I ain't do no commercials or nothing. Hey, look, y'all. So we back. We actually back in Detroit on September 30th, y'all. September 30th, if we back in Detroit, make sure that y'all buy y'all tickets. Tickets are going fast. But guess what, y'all? We're back at Wayne State University. Everybody is welcome. Uh, students can actually get in for $75. We are selling uh, VIP tickets for $333, and uh, regular tickets is going for about $130, $140, I believe, like that. This will be a completely sold-out event Saturday, September 30th in Detroit, Michigan. Come out and see me. We turned up so hard last time. A bunch of knowledge, a bunch of information, a bunch of everything a bunch of love was given i mean it was an amazing time i met new people new friends we built a very good community out there we also have started a seed program uh woodway straight university called yaki awaken seed program so you know students can get free seeds the, ag the agricultural program of wayne state we're donating thousands and thousands of seeds to them so i'm trying to do this at every hbcu or every uh college that i go to I'm trying to start some type of agricultural program and share all of my knowledge, information, and giving them a bunch of seeds. So check me out. Uh, go on eventbrite.com, eventbrite slash Yaki Awaken Health the Liberation Tour Detroit. Buy your tickets ASAP. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Also, if you're looking for any type of herbs, www.yakiawaken.com. Uh, go, go on there. What you can do is click on Herbal Store. When you click on Herbal Store, go down. And we have teachers, teas, capsules, hygiene products, tonics, kits and bundles, divine feminine line, oils, salve, seaweed, soaps, whole herbs, and we have our geogenetics. For those that need to get in contact with me, make sure that y'all book a consultation, family. Book a consultation, and let's wrap. Let's talk, y'all. All right, with that being said, I love y'all. Peace, love, light, and healing. Let me look at y'all when I say this. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Make sure y'all give me a shout out and let me know where y'all want us to come next. We're going to be in D.C. We've been going to be in Washington, D.C. Uh, October, I think the end of October. Let me not say I know we're in Washington, D.C. I've been booked. The venue been bought and everything. So we will be in uh, the DMV area in I think a month or two. From there, we're going to the Virgin Islands. I'm trying to get back to San Diego, California. Let me know where y'all want us at, man. And we're we going to be there. I'm trying to I'm trying to be doing at least two shows a month. So. Where y'all let? Let us know. Put it in the comment board for now. B can look for this. Can look for this. Master classes is not going to be ready until next year, y'all. Remember, I'm working on my book. My book will be done by December. I promise you that. Then once the actual uh book is done, then that's when we do the classes. But I really need to get this book done and get this food forensic investigation done. So that's what we're working on. All right, where y'all let, man? Where y'all let? All right, we see Virginia. We got a bunch of Virginias in the building. Houston, Texas. We most definitely in Houston, Texas next year. Sacramento, California, what they call Macramento. All right, Phoenix, Arizona, Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Atlanta always show me love, always. New York, New York, y'all always show me love, always. Ohio, Ohio always show me love. Shouts out to my brother Bobby, Bobby Smith. How you feeling? Peace, God. Chicago, I got to get out to Chicago. Man, I was in Chicago, y'all, man. I seen a, I watched a man jump 30 feet to his death. I ain't been there since. I don't I, shit, I don't know what type of message that was. I tried to catch him, and he ended up jumping from his death. He was at a hotel eating, and he ate his last meal, took off his shoes, and I'm like, what the hell is this man doing? Soon as I, soon as it clicked in my head, I started running to try to catch him. 
I end up tripping over a damn chair, y'all. And uh, when I finally got out to to where he was at, because we was eating on a rooftop, but we ate inside. And what's crazy is I was eating outside the whole time. But this last particular day, I wanted to eat inside. And uh, the man came in. Everybody looked at him because he looked at, I don't know, it was something about his energy that was just off to me. Everybody even said it. He ended up eating his last meal, and he had a salad. I'm like, yo, last meal you eat a salad? At least he went out healthy. But uh, his last meal was a salad. He took off his shoes and his socks, and he started walking towards the door. There was nobody outside on the roof area. So I'm like, what the hell is this man doing? I said, he, the first thing I said, I said, he finna jump. So I get up and I ran towards him. And as I'm saying, hey, I end up tripping over a damn chair. So my brothers end up helping me up and I'm running after him. I literally got three feet within catching his hand. He looked back at me, looked me in my eyes and jumped 30 stories, man. He hit the ground so hard, it sounded like a shotgun went off. And uh, me and my brothers, we went and we looked over the ledge, and literally he hit a bench. The bench knocked his head off. His head was across the street, and all of his intestines and internal organs were spilt out all over the concrete. It completely fucked my mind up for about, shit, man, about, sorry for cursing y'all, but yeah, for about, man, six months. And I said, I said, Chicago must not want me to come back there. That was that was a message. So I literally haven't been to Chicago since. There's a video where a man, it's a homeless man doing his ABCs and his ABCs are all affirmations. A lot of people, the video then went viral, 30 million, 50 million, 100 million views. A lot of people don't know that was me who shot the video. That was when I was in Chicago at a hotel. Uh, and, and I, I was talking to this man and I gave him a hundred dollars and he said, I, I can't accept this for free. Let me give you some words of encouragement. So he said the whole alphabet forward and backwards. And he had affirmations to the alphabets. That was me holding the camera. People just cut my face off and put other names on, but that was actually me. That was my content. All of that happened within the same two days. I met a beautiful homeless man full of wisdom. And then the next day I met a man that had everything that, that just killed himself, jumped to his death. So I just didn't know how to take it. So I ain't been to Chicago since then. I'm like, maybe that was a warning for me to just stay away for a while. I don't know. Yeah, that was crazy. But anyways, let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here. Please come to Chicago. I saw that video. Yeah, I'm thinking about coming back. Yeah, that video. Yeah, you see how they be cutting my face out of it? Everybody sharing it. Everybody. T.I., Timberland. I'm like, Tip, that's me, brother. They done, they done took my whole face off that deal and just, I mean, hundreds of millions of views, and they cropped me out, and they put their own names on I said, boy, ain't nobody original. Everybody want to steal each other content, I guess. But look, peace, love, light, and hell, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. I love y'all. I'll be on here tomorrow with more live uh, testimonies. I'm also going to go live on my Instagram as well. Make sure y'all follow me on all my platforms. Like this video, share this video, and comment for we can get this in the algorithm for we can get up. Uh, they also, they verified my YouTube. This is my YouTube. It actually have a blue check on it. And we almost to 200,000 subscribers. We had 196,000 subscribers, y'all. All organic, man. This is a beautiful thing. Uh, we're growing. We're almost at 500,000 Instagram subscribers, all organic. They verify me on there. And we almost at 200,000 subscribers on Facebook as well, all organic. And that's verified as well. And I think we had 300,000 on TikTok. So, you know, hey, it's going up, man. They're listening to the word, and I'm just super, super humble and thankful. And if it wasn't for y'all, I would not be encouraged to keep doing it. So y'all keep encouraging me, keep asking these questions, challenge my mind, challenge my intelligence, challenge what I say, research what I say, for y'all can know these things to be true. Love y'all. Peace.